Hello all, my name is Krishna Ayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we are going to discuss a very important interview question that is called as what is Z-score and its application. Okay. Now, before I go ahead with the video, guys, please make sure that you pause the video, try to write whatever things you know in the comment section and then you start this particular video so that I will be able to explain you here. Okay. I'll also provide the entire explanation. So let's proceed. Suppose let's just consider that guys. We have a population where my mean is somewhere around 120 and then my uh, standard deviation is nothing but 12. Okay. And this is the population mean and population standard deviation. If I have this specific information, then what I can do is that I can definitely create my Gaussian distribution graph. Okay. Where my mean is actually 120 after 120, the next number that is one standard deviation to the right will be 132. And then one standard deviation to the right will be 144 and then one standard deviation to the right will be 156 right and similarly we can also construct one standard deviation to the left that basically means we'll try to subtract 120 by 12 which is nothing but 108 and then i'll try to subtract 108 minus 12 i hope it is 96 and then one more standard deviation to the left if i try to subtract it is nothing but 84. Now here you can see that with the help of this particular information that is your mu and standard deviation we will be able to construct this particular Gaussian distribution okay and uh, this is also like a Gaussian distribution over here. Now let's understand what is the importance of z-score okay. Now many people know that what is the importance of z-score. z-score will actually help us to find out whether a value like how far this value is from the mean okay from the mean in the terms of standard deviation. Now, suppose if I take 144 as an example, okay, 144 as an example, if I apply a z-score formula, this formula is nothing but x of i minus mu divided by standard deviation. Now, I know what is x of i, x of i is nothing but 144 minus mean, mean is nothing but 120 and divided by standard deviation, which is nothing but 12. Now, if I try to subtract this, it is nothing but 24 by 12 and which is nothing but 2. Now this basically says that plus 2 basically says that this 144 is 2 standard deviation to the right of this specific mean, right? This is what z-score basically specifies. But still, we have never understood what is its real application. We really need to understand what exactly is the application. Where should we use this kind of thing, right? Because here definitely we know that just by applying this particular formula, you know, you will be able to understand how far it is away from the mean, right? So this z-score formula can also be applied in a process called as standardization because this same formula is basically applied in standardization. Now when I talk about standardization, this is the first application guys. I'm going to talk about multiple applications of this. In standardization also what we do, suppose I have features like age, I have features like weight, I have feature like uh, suppose uh, height, right? We know that all these features are actually computed or measured in different scale, right? Age can be measured in years, weight can be measured with kgs, height can be measured in inches or centimeters, right? So when we are actually measuring this in a machine learning problem statement, okay? In a machine learning problem statement, we should try to scale down all these features. We should try to scale down all these particular features in the same range, okay? In the same range now in order to scale down the features in this same range we can definitely use this z score formula that is x of i minus sorry x of i minus mu divided by standard deviation that basically means i can take this independent column then i can compute the mu i can compute the standard deviation and i can scale down this entire feature on this particular level and this scaling usually happens if i talk about this kind of scaling this will scale down based on this entire feature over here itself similarly weight here also we can scale down by applying the same, same formula. Height also can be scaled down by applying the same formula. And this is usually done by a library which is called as standard scalar, okay, in sklearn. So, okay, so in sklearn, whenever you want to perform standardization, then definitely we can definitely use this particular technique. Okay, one more interview question for you guys. What is the difference between standardization versus normalization? You can answer me. Now let's go to the second main application guys. Okay guys, the second main application of Z-score is that Z-score actually helps you to compare scores. It helps you to compare scores between 
different distribution i hope you have never heard about it guys i don't know whether you heard of it or not but i probably may have got the answer by just seeing your comments uh okay but this will actually help you to compare the scores between different distribution now let's see an example suppose uh india okay india cricket team okay so in 2020 india cricket team probably they have gone to england to play matches with uh, england itself cricket match i'm talking about cricket match so there was a test series probably four test or five test and similarly on 2021 probably they are going to play cricket with england right so every year they probably go to england or some other places and they probably pay, play matches okay uh, multiple tests will be there probably four to five tests will be there and best of four whoever wins uh, will be getting the answer okay like they will basically win the cup now in case of this let's consider the scoring of indian pattern so india on 2020 the average test score like four test was there so average test score was somewhere around 181 suppose i'm taking this as an example 181 then you don't say that oh, chris how can india score 181 guys i'm just taking an example you can take any value okay then the standard deviation was actually 12 right so probably four matches was played the average test score was 181 and the standard deviation was around 12 okay then the final score of india in the final test match was somewhere around 187 okay now in 2021 probably uh, i'm just putting up this number in 2021 the average test score of all the matches was somewhere around 182 and the standard deviation was somewhere around five and the final score the final test match score okay it was somewhere around 185 okay now guys i want you to pause and think in which year india actually gave a amazing final score which was a better final score out of this two test series on 2020 and 2021 given this mean and standard deviation was there with respect to the score right so this is the question guys again i'm repeating the question that on this two year that is on 2020 test series and 2021 test series by just seeing this average and standard deviation which score do you think was india able to uh, i mean uh, which final score do you think india performed well in the final match whether it was 187 and 185 obviously in this kind of scenario when you think of this particular problem statement you may be thinking krish uh, 187 is a better score than 185 okay so uh, don't you think this final score of 187 is better because it is obviously greater than 185 but understand guys there are some more features over here average and standard deviation probably in 2020 the pitch was little bit easy probably in 2021 the pitch was little bit difficult and because of this average and standard deviation is varying over here the average and standard deviation is varying so in order to compute in order to compare these scores we be, we can definitely use uh, something called as z score so now let's compute z score for this on 2020 okay so here i will apply the formula 187 minus 181 because this is 187 minus 181 divided by 12 this is nothing but 6 by 12 which is nothing but 0.5 similarly i will go and compute the z score for 2021 and here i will just write 185 minus 182 divided by 5 so here if i go and see it is nothing but 3 by 5 which is nothing but 0.6 so 0.6 and 0.5 and what this is a what this is actually z score i have already told you that it tells us how much standard deviation you are away from the mean now in this case you are around 0.5 standard deviation away from the mean in this case you are around 0.6 standard deviation away from the mean then obviously this 0.6 is greater than 0.5 that basically proves that india performed well and india final score was very good when compared in 2021 when compared to 2020 okay now if, what i can do i can take up this particular data and i can also create this kind of graph now see this this kind of graph also i can create my mean was somewhere around what was my mean 181 my standard deviation was 12 right so 181 plus 12 it is nothing but 193 then again 12 right 205 then again 12 217 i hope i'm writing it right if there is a little bit uh, mistake uh, pardon me okay so 181 minus 12 how much this is uh, 169 i guess then again 12 uh, 157 then again 12 145 right so this is the entire distribution of this particular thing 
and the final score which was 187 it is falling somewhere over here right it is somewhere falling over here this is my 0.5 standard deviation right from the mean so this is my mean and it is basically falling somewhere here okay so this is just a straight line guys ignore if i have not drawn correctly and again for in this particular scenario let me just draw it again in this particular scenario okay okay in this particular scenario what my mean is my mean is actually 182 then my standard deviation is nothing but 5 so it will be 187 192 197 similarly over here it is 177 172 and uh, uh, probably 167 okay and over here you can see this 185 where it is falling it is falling somewhere over here this is nothing but 0 0.6 standard deviation away from the mean so here you can see that it is away that basically means india has definitely performed well with respect to 185 instead of 187 considering the mean and standard deviation understand guys this is one of the very good interview question that was asked uh, i really wanted to explain this and i hope you have understood what is its application two main application with respect to z score obviously one is standardization and second one is comparing scores between different distribution it will actually help you to know it and remember with respect to different distribution uh, and re remember this usually uh, uh, here you really need to have the mean and the standard deviation values okay in order to compare between different distribution so i hope you like this particular video Remember guys, this is all how much, uh, how do I know all this? I usually practice a lot. I do take a lot of classes, you know, and because of this, uh, I am actually becoming good at this. So different, different examples I do come up with. Uh, you can also become good guys by practicing more and more, understanding these things because this will definitely help some or the other way. So you should definitely try, you should try to revise this again and again. All these things will be uploaded in my statistics playlets. So I hope you like this particular video. Please do subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you and all. Bye-bye.